Hey folks, this is Captain Doug Wynn. We're uh, we're checking out some bluegill beds. Uh, we're coming up on full moon, and uh, the bluegill and red ear should be uh, starting to bite. Uh, the way I find the bluegill and the red ear is I go to my side scan on my Hummingbird Helix 12, and I will move up into water anything from 10 feet up, and uh, I'll just I'll be scrolling along. What you want to look for for bluegill and red ear beds, uh, you will have what will look like little craters on the moon on the bottom. And they, as they get closer together, that's pretty much an active bed. Now one key with the side image that you really want to look for, if you run across a bluegill bed, if you look and you see in that little crater, you see a white line on your side image, that means there's a fish in that crater. If you look and there's a whole lot of lines in the, the different craters, you've hit an active bluegill bed and you want to stop. You want to get the, uh, the red worms, the crickets, and get the kids out and, uh, and catch some bluegill and red ear. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's not the, the latest, greatest technology. Most of us have it on our boat, but it's, uh, it's a very, very valuable tool for me with uh, catching bluegill and red ear. This is Captain Doug Wynn with Crappie Hills and More, wishing you great fishing. See you on the lake.